Hello everyone, this is Lamed Sani of Code Logical, and in this tutorial video, we're going to be having a look at Ember, Getters, and Setters. So up until now, we've been having um, items in our or properties in our controller, and we've been displaying them in our template, but we haven't had a look at how to set properties and get them um, inside of our controller methods. So let's just um, try to see how that works. So right now we have uh, the first name and last name in our index controller um, called Johnny for first name and Deb for last name. So we'll display that in our template right now. And let's just say, if you remember from previous videos, all we have to do is first name, and then last name. Okay. So in our browser, when we refresh, we should see Johnny Depp displayed. Okay, so that's Johnny Depp. All right, but how do we set inside our controller to change these values? So we'll create a, a link method here with an action of, or we'll put it inside a p tag so it's on its own line. And it won't have an href, but it will have an action. And the action will be what we have in the controller here, which is called show alert. So when we click on the button, we want to call that action show alert. And what that action does is it's going to just show inside our alert box, um, usual JavaScript stuff. This is not Ember related, just pure JavaScript. And it's going to show the actor is and we'll do that. So now this brings us to a question. How do we get inside this controller first name and last name? In the template, we just bind to that and the template knows that we knows what to do. So how do we get them here? And in Ember, if you want to get properties from a controller inside a method, all you have to do is um, just use the get method in Ember. So this, when you say this, it refers to the controller instance inside any method in the controller or function, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same. So this dot get, you might be used to in JavaScript saying, or you might have been tempted to do something like first name, this dot first name, but that wouldn't work uh, because of how Ember bindings work. And there's a lot of stuff going on in the background. Anytime you want to get a property, you must do get unless it's been injected um, by a container or something which we'll get to in another video but if not this is how you get properties so get the first name we do this dot get first name and then likewise for the last name so we do this dot actor so now when we click on that link um, let's refresh the browser first uh, forgot to put text inside the link let's say um, show actor um, yeah that should work so back in our browser we refresh and I click this we we'll see an alert saying Johnny Depp so the actor is Johnny Depp that's fine so one more thing before we wrap up this lesson how do we set properties then um, you've been probably guessing we could just use the set method so when we say set another actor and just click another action here that says this dot set first name and we say um, Michael um, so that's for the first name and the last name Schofield Hope I'm spelling Schofield right. It's the actor from Prison Break if you're a big fan of it <laughs> Been watching it for a while. So we've set the first name and last name to Michael Schofield So let's just alert that again just to show that um, It's been changed. We say var new actor equal to This dot get first name plus this dot get last name. 
okay so new actor so we say the new actor is new actor concatenate that in the alert box so now let's create another link that um just says show new actor and we say what's the method name let's just get that here quickly set another actor so when we click on the second one it should just set a new actor to michael scofield and then alert that so let's refresh this now clicking on show new actor shows show us michael scofield so i click says the new actor is michael scofield so in ember that is how you get and set properties and the same works for when you're inside the router as well or router and um, yeah that's about it in ember it's as easy as that so next time you want to get a property or set it don't do something like this dot last name because that's not how ember works um, sure probably in the future that will change but as of now that's how it is so that's it guys thanks for watching once again and um, if you like this video please like and subscribe and please help share it as well you know i want more people to get to see this Thanks for watching guys, bye bye, see you soon.